Welcome, dear Taurus, to your weekly reading from the 9th of May to the 15th of May. Taurus, we're just going to get an idea of the energies that could be coming in and the possibilities coming in for you this week. Okay, so the first card we get for you is the third eye chakra. So the third eye chakra, if you can imagine, this is the um, point right between your two eyebrows. And this has to do with your intuition and inner knowing. So this, this point, this third eye chakra, uh, it's just coming up this week, so we want this um, chakra to be activated and open. So what I would suggest is for this week, if you can do any meditations that you can find easily, there's wonderful meditations on YouTube, just to activate this and ensure that this, um, this point is um, vibrating at its highest point, because you probably will need some kind of insight from your intuition this week. Right, so let's see and get another um, energy card. Give us a, a clue of the energies that you should be working with this week. Right, we get Hawk Spirit. Let Spirit be your guide. Okay, so we, we've been told quite nicely and quite clearly this week, my dear Taurus, that, your, that Spirit is definitely going to communicate with you and give you answers through your um, your intuition and your your inner knowing, so you're going to get that like gut feel, that feeling in your stomach if something's right, if something's wrong. This is spirit working with you through your third eye chakra. Okay, so now I'm going to get some more information with the tarot to see what this week will be bringing in for you. Right, my dear Taurus, let's see what we have going on for you. Page of Pentacles, King of Wands, Six of Swords, the Hierophant, High Priestess, very much connected with your inner intuition. This is going to play a very big part this week, dear Taurus. And the seven of um, wands, right. Let's see what's going on here. So, right, okay. So, my dear Tauruses, this is um, a very interesting week because this week your um, you're very, you're told that there's going to be some kind, you're going to be put into some kind of a position where you might have to um, present yourself, stand up for yourself to, um, to some kind of um, person in authority. So it could be a, maybe like if it's at work, it could be a um, boss or a superior. Um, maybe you have to defend your point of view. Maybe you have to negotiate a better contract. Anything like that where you're going to have to stand up to somebody in a position of power. They're quite a, a dynamic person. They're quite a, a strong person. And you're going to have to stand your ground. And it's coming in very, very clearly this week that you just have to trust your intuition, how strong you stand. It's like you're going to know when to hold them and you're going to know when to fold them, literally like that. Because that what you're being told that this, by standing up strong for yourself, it's going to put you in a really better position. So whatever you're working on, so if you're negotiating, a, say, a contract at work, if it's a new contract, by standing your ground, you're going to know just by trusting your intuition, how far you can go, and when you're going to have to say, okay, thank you, I appreciate that, and the, the, you know, when they say no, you're going to say, okay, they really mean no, and you're going to accept it, and it's going to be good for you, because it moves you up to where you want to um, go. Any kind of negotiation, any kind of, you know, even if it's like with your, let's say it's with your partner, and say you have to kind of, I'm going to just give you an arbitrary example, you're just having um, to decide um, who's going to do, I'm going to just think of something completely random, 
you're just doing like a negotiating in terms of saying who's going to be doing the um, cleaning this week or something like that. I don't know. It's just a, that's a, a terrible example. But what, I, what, the, what I'm trying to get across here is you're going to know intuitively how far you can go and when you need to stop and say, great, okay, so we've reached an agreement. You'll do this. I'll do that. What I am being told here is that it's going to be good for you. You just got to know when to stop and make the agreement. So there you have it, my dear um, Tauruses. I hope that makes sense to you. Um, do those meditations because that's really going to open up that uh, third eye chakra. Stand your ground until you get that gut feel. Okay, this is as far as I, ca I can go. Make the, make the deal. And it's going to be a win-win situation for everybody. So there you have it, my dear Tauruses. That's your, your reading this week. I wish you a wonderful, wonderful week. Uh, please take care of yourselves. And I'm sending you all lots and lots of love.